So, what's your story? Uh, this is the fifth evening in a row that I see you here. Just having some trouble dealing with my past. You should get it out of your chest. Just talk about it. Yeah. Who's going to listen to an old man's ramblings? I've heard many old men ramble, so but you might try me. <laughs> You're too young and inexperienced in life. You wouldn't understand. Trust me, I know my fair share about life. But first things first, my name's Perry. Henry. Drinking on the job. It's not like I'm going to get caught with this crowd. Besides, you should always take a drink before spilling your life's worries. Amen to that. <clears throat> I've been divorced with my ex wife for three years now. Stuck here at 26, working at a bar where the biggest clientele is old men coming to drown their sorrow. No offense. None taken. That's exactly what I'm here for. Here I am, 62, heading on to 63. Drinking alone in a bar. I never had a wife. Just constant, constant regrets that kept me awake at night. I know the feeling. I started taking pills to get at least two to three hours of broken sleep each night. So, why are you living in regret? I met this girl when I was young. Her name was Amelia. And she was beautiful. She was smart, had a good sense of humor. And she was kind. And I was so happy. I was so... I even moved away from Finland to be with her. But then I didn't focus on her. I focused on everything else. And I guess I took her for granted. And still, I loved her at the same time. We were in our thirties, and I was still looking for a job. That's when the bigger argument started. And uh, in the end I let her go because I was chasing my big dream of being a film star. The last time I ever spoke to her was when I told her that she has to leave because I couldn't focus on my career. You know, with having her around. Why did you reach out to her and try to make things better? I was so focused on my acting that I kept on telling myself that uh, I don't need her. You know, uh, that I found someone else before I know. And all I ever got out of it was uh, dumb roles in stupid commercials and C movies and two operations on my liver for drinking too much alcohol.
It doesn't matter anymore. I am too old to care about my liver. I spent all my life thinking what would, have, what would have been if I would have chosen her instead of my career. Trying to live a normal life. Maybe I would be drinking because of, of problems at my job and even more problems at home because of the job. Or maybe I would have found a good, decent job and living a happy family life with Amelia. Who knows? I just keep on wondering because, because I lost my chance. I, I, I let her go. Did you think of contacting her now to tell how you feel? I mean, it would be easy to find her. You should get it off your chest. No, there's no point. It wouldn't do either of us any good to muddle up her mind with m my feelings. She's married for 30 years with kids. I don't want to be a ghost from her past, haunting her and her family. And besides, I don't even want to see her happy with someone else, because I would only regret even more that it could have been me. This old heart has been through enough pain already. I still remember how we danced the night when I met her 40 years ago in a jazz bar. Her long hazelnut hair swirled during our dance and she looked at me with those big eyes, blue as the ocean itself. And she smiled at me with a smile that could have brightened up any cloudy day. Cut! Uh, thank you, that's quite enough. You've, um, you've barely said anything that was in the script. And you went off on quite a tangent. Yeah, I just, you know, said what I what it what came to my mind. Yeah, I guess so. Um I probably should have caught you off sooner, but it wasn't bad improv, so it was okay. And um we'll give you a call, call later, so thank you. Um, thank you. Okay guys, let's reset and get ready for the next actor so we can wrap it up soon and go home for lunch.